In this tutorial, we will cover the Quartet outputs and how they can be controlled on both the front panel and in Maestro. Quartet has a total of eight outputs, six on the back that are balanced quarter inch, and a headphone output on the side. On Quartet's front panel, you will notice two soft buttons, one with a speaker icon and another with a headphone icon. When selected, you can control either one with Quartet's encoder knob. Open Maestro Quartet's companion software and select the output tab. Here you will see speaker and headphones. These mimic Quartet's hardware knob, so output can be controlled here in Maestro or on Quartet's front panel. Right above the speaker output, you will see a drop down menu. Line bypasses Quartet's analog attenuation control. Do not set to line if you have outputs connected directly to powered speakers or a power amp. Stereo is the default and allows you to control the output volume going to the speakers connected to outputs 1 and 2. Two speaker sets allows you to use outputs 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 to connect and control two sets of speakers. If you select this option, you will see another drop down menu is added. When speaker 2 is selected, you are now sending the stereo out to outputs 3 and 4 to monitor through a different set of speakers. Three speaker sets is exactly the same, only adding one more set to outputs 5 and 6. 5.1 is for surround. When set to this mode, all six monitors in your surround setup can be turned up or down at the same time. Keep in mind this is only for volume attenuation. Actual surround mixing and encoding must be done in your audio application. In Maestro, you also have a separate mute, dim, and mono for both speaker and headphone out. When these are selected, you will see indication in Maestro and on Quartet's front panel. Next, we see six meters with faders. At the top, you will see plus four dBU, and if you click on it, you will also see minus 10 dBV. Select plus four when connecting Quartet's outputs to balanced inputs. For instance, most powered speakers and power amps have balanced inputs. However, if you are connecting to an unbalanced input, you will typically select minus 10. And finally, you will see attenuation control for each of the six outputs. This allows you to attenuate each output by 12 dB. This comes in handy when connecting multiple sets of speakers to Quartet, and you want to match levels perfectly between them. Please subscribe to our YouTube page to be updated on all future tutorials and Apogee videos.